In your brain, there exists a sacred secret that can allow you to activate the pineal gland and achieve extraordinary results. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do it. It's important to understand that the body always influences the mind and vice versa. They are an inseparable unit, which we call the mind-body connection. Most thoughts are connected to certain feelings that impact specific hormonal centers in the body. For example, if you experience anger, you'll release certain chemicals that activate the adrenal system and initiate the body's survival systems. On the other hand, if you're suffering, feeling pain or guilt, a different biochemical reaction occurs that activates specific hormonal centers. Thus, most thoughts and feelings consume a large portion of the energy stored in the body's lower energy centers. Currently, these energy centers are responsible for survival. Therefore, when you feel fear or nervousness, you experience an unpleasant sensation in your stomach, indicating that something bad is happening. We constantly live in a state of survival, in constant fight or flight. This way of life is destructive and uncomfortable, but that's how most people have managed to survive, spending much of their lives in these lower energy levels. However, there is a danger when we're in survival mode. Our thoughts and feelings only activate from these lower levels. This means that most of our mental and physical energy gets trapped in these lower centers. However, if we can release this trapped energy in our brain, we can activate our pineal gland and have profound mystical experiences. I'm going to share a technique I've used to have a complete out-of-body experience that completely transformed my life and gave me insights I never imagined obtaining. But first, it's important to understand exactly how this process works. What's surprising is that the brain and spinal cord are protected by a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid which surrounds the nervous system. This fluid circulates up and down the spine approximately every 12 hours. The sacred secret of the universe lies in the fact that this fluid can be directed and pushed towards the brain, having a significant impact on the pineal gland. Additionally, this fluid is composed of proteins and soluble salts with positive and negative electrical charges. The suggestion is that by accelerating these electrical charges, significant results can be achieved. According to physics, when a charged molecule is accelerated, an invisible field known as an inductance field is created. According to the dictionary definition, inductance is a property of electrical circuits, where a change in the magnetic field produces an electromotive force or voltage. The charged proteins and salts present in the spinal fluid, which are electrically charged through this technique, generate their own magnetic fields and electrical force, which can affect other areas such as the pineal gland. The interesting thing about this is that when this happens, the body's lower energy centers begin to release that trapped energy. Instead of staying trapped and causing constant stress or a fight-or-flight response, this energy is chemically released and transported through the nervous system to the brain, moving directly until it reaches the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a very specific gland that produces serotonin and melatonin. When this energy reaches the pineal gland, an intense chemical reaction is triggered that alters brainwave patterns and causes lucid and mystical experiences, which is why it is called the third eye. I understand that this is a lot of information, but it's important to understand how to turn this technique into a transformative third eye experience. If you enjoy the video, we appreciate you liking it, subscribing to the channel and activating notifications to stay informed about everything we have prepared for you. We value your interest. What is truly fascinating is that there is a new form of biomineralization that has been studied in the human pineal gland which consists of tiny calcium carbonate crystals. There are many small crystals, and scientific research has shown that the pineal gland has been called a neuroendocrine transducer with photoelectric functions and properties. I know these are many words and it's like, come on, let me have a mystical experience, but let's analyze those words. The word piezoelectric comes from the Greek words pietsine, which means to press or squeeze an electron, which means to push. If you do this technique, you're pushing that electrically charged cerebrospinal fluid toward the pineal gland. 
exerting tension and force against it. Now since the pineal gland contains these tiny calcite crystals made of calcium carbon and oxygen, by applying pressure to the pineal gland and the tiny crystals that emit a resonant electromagnetic field, the gland becomes a small multidimensional antenna. Like an antenna, the pineal gland has the ability to activate electrically and generate electromagnetic fields that can tune into information from higher dimensions. These fields carry invisible information, and once the antenna manages to capture the precise signal of the electromagnetic field, it converts it into a meaningful image or message. If you take a moment right now and observe your surroundings, you'll notice that the space you're in is saturated with TV, radio, and Wi-Fi waves that cover different ranges of invisible electromagnetic energy frequencies. These waves cannot be perceived by our eyes but are still present. For example, when an antenna captures a range of frequencies and transmits them to your TV, it is transformed into an image composed of light photons on the screen. Similarly, when tuning into an FM radio station, you're adjusting your antenna to a specific electromagnetic frequency to receive the information transmitted through it. This information is then converted into a coherent signal that we can listen to as music. In summary, the pineal gland performs a similar process. Once activated through this technique, you'll be able to access information that is inaccessible from our three-dimensional reality. You'll be able to obtain this information from the quantum field, and your brain will begin to translate the frequencies that carry that information into profound images. You'll experience a complete sensory experience without the need to use your senses, and it will be more real than the physical world in which you currently find yourself. Now is the time to learn the technique. You simply need to touch your abdomen with your finger to find a point of concentration. Then close your eyes and begin to inhale and exhale. As you inhale and exhale, contract your abdominal muscles and breathe through your nose while performing this contraction. This act will allow you to extract the trapped and stagnant energy in your body. But where do we want that energy to go? We want to direct it directly to the top of our head. What I usually do is touch between my eyebrows, right where my third eye is located. You can put your finger there and apply gentle pressure or simply lightly touch that area. Then, as you close your eyes in and out, you can place another finger on the spot between your navel. As you inhale, contract your abdominal muscles again. Each time you inhale, imagine your spine as a tunnel full of luminous energy and move it upward from your lower abdomen to your chest, passing through your throat and finally reaching your brain. With each exhalation, imagine that the energy is released from your third eye. If you tap on this area with each exhalation, you're expelling that energy. This process works like a pump that pushes cerebrospinal fluid upward as you inhale and exhale, generating relaxation. Each time you practice this, you'll feel the energy accumulate more and more. I would recommend finding suitable music for this process. Direct your attention directly to your navel and place your finger there while contracting those abdominal muscles with each inhalation and exhalation. Imagine how that energy rises through your spine until it reaches your brain. The goal of moving this energy in the spinal fluid is to release it from the blockage in that specific point. The pineal gland is located near the crystals within it. With more practice, this energy will begin to flow even more freely. If you do this exercise for five, 10 or 15 minutes a day, you'll reach a point where you'll really feel how that energy hits your brain. If you don't feel fear at this sensation of intense energy, you'll be able to start moving along with it. Thank you for staying with me until the end. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell to stay informed about everything we have prepared for you. See you in the next installment. Make the background music spiritual.